going to discuss the general page life cycle stages of uh, an ASP.NET page. So, first of all, the first thing that happens is page request. <clears throat> this is the first step that uh, usually uh, occurs whenever we will uh, request for any web page. Say you are trying to open uh, any ASP.NET page, xyz.aspx, then what will happen at the first time is a page request. So before any page lifecycle begins, this page request occurs because initially Passed in compiled, or it may be previously compiled. So in that case, it will show you the cached version of the page to the response. So in that case, the page will not run, and uh, the actual lifecycle processes will not be happen. But if it is the first time when a page is being loaded, then in that case, uh, the ASP.NET must have to pass it on compile it. So what the server will do, it will compile it and it will follow all the lifecycle methods for that page. What happens? At the first stage, at the first time in lifecycle method, the start stage will work. So what the start stage do? It uh, basically properties like request and responses because these are the two important properties whenever you uh, send a page to the server you usually are requesting for some information from the server and the server is sending back you the response so the request and response properties must be said that what kind of request you are sending and what kind of responses you are getting is through these request and response properties at this stage page also determines if the request is post back or it is a new request so it is very important to know what do you mean by post back Postback is basically a process in which you submit an ASP.NET page to the server for processing. Basically, initially the first time when a page is loaded, all the fields, all the controls will be blank. But when you will click on submit and you are calling the same page, that means the same page is being processed again with some values inside the controls. So what the postback property do, it can use to determine if the page is submitted to itself. When a form is submitted back to the same page that contains it, it's called postback. So postback basically means you are calling the same page with some additional information. So initially at the start page, start stage, the page determines whether this request is postback request or a new request. Okay, in that case, it sets the is postback property. So in that case, if the page is newly requested, is postback will be false. Otherwise, it will be true. Okay. As well as in start stage, the page also sets the UI culture property. So what is the meaning of UI culture? UI culture basically affects that which resource file is going to be loaded by your application. Resource file basically specifies that in which country you are or which kind of language you are going to show by that particular page. So three things will be happening in this stage. The request and responses are set it then is post back property it will check either the request is post back or it is a new request and it will also set the ui culture property after the start stage there is initialization state in initialization state uh, the controls on the pages controls means like text boxes the list boxes combo boxes check boxes and all different kind of controls that you are going to use in your page if they are available and it will assign a unique ID property to each set. Okay. There is an ID and there is unique ID property. So you must have to understand what is the difference between unique ID and ID. Unique ID basically use when you are using the repeating controls, which is repeating the same control again and again. As you can see in this diagram, this is basically a control that is having say different levels and image control at the top. So initially we will set one image control and one text or label controls in this specific grid that will have an ID. But when we will have multiple data, it will repeat it again and again. So every time it have to distinguish them by the unique ID to each and every control. 
So it will give a unique ID to this. It will give a unique ID to this. It will give you a unique ID to this. Either the ID of all these three will be same. Okay, so what you do in initialization is to provide an unique ID property. Then a master page and themes are also applied to the page if applicable. If you are using any master page, if you are using any theme, then that will be applicable at initialization stage. So if the current request is a postback, the postback data has not yet been loaded and control property values have not been restored to the value from the view state. So at this initialization state, the data from that, that you are getting from the previous page or previous controls that is not going to be loaded at this stage, that will be loaded in next stage. Okay, so initialization, initially there is start, then there is initialization, it will initialize the unique ID and as well as it will set the master pages and themes here. Then in load, in load state, what will happen? Current request will be checked. If it is post back, then all the values, all the properties will be loaded from the view state and control state. So as you can see in this diagram, the value of these text is being filled. Okay. So if, we, if I'm clicking on submit or some uh, button, which is calling the same page again, though in that case, it will be a post back and the values that I have been filled in this page will be automatically filled here. If it is a fresh look, if it is a fresh request, then in that case, these fields will be blank. So load, what load is doing? It is loading the values of different control, different views. So it will showing you the presentation from the view state and filling all the fields using the control state properties. Then post back event handling, as in this case, what is happening that if it is getting the, it is checking if the request is post back. And if the request is post back, as you can see here, there are some validation controls being applied with these text boxes. So if the request is fresh, the page is loaded at the very first time. In that case, you will not see these validation control because post back event handling or validate method will not be called in that case. But if the post back is there, you have been clicking on submit button, you are calling the same page again with some values and you have missed uh, to enter some value in this page, say, or in this field. So in that case, it will check, it will validate for all these controls where validator are applied and it will check if the value is there, if the correct, correct value is there. If not, it will give you the error. Finally, rendering. Rendering basically refers to the process of creating a visible representation. Means finally, the, how the form is going to be displayed, how the page is going to be displayed. So before rendering, view state is saved for all the pages and all the controls. Means whatever the values you have been put it in the controls, and whatever the view state of the page, whatever the view of the page that is being saved. Okay, and then uh, a method called render is called for each of the pages, which prevent, which provide a text writer that writes the output to the output page response property. So in rendering, basically, all the data is being set it, uh, to the specific control. You are getting the view state, how the page is going to be looked, means the actual state of that. And if everything is open, sorry, everything is over, then unload state will be called. The unload event is raised after the page has been fully rendered, means all the data has been placed in their respective places. Then uh, it's sent to the client and ready to discard. At this point, Page properties like response and request are unloaded and cleanup is performed. So final time, whatever the value in response and request are holding, they will be cleaned up. So in summary, we can see that initially the initialize method on it, in it method will be called. If the load is the first load, it is yes. Then on load method will be called. Again, if it is the first load, then pre-render method will be called. And then it will save the view state for further post packs and Render method will be called for all controls and finally dispose will be called. But if it is not the first load, it is the next time the same page is being called, then it will load the same view state and process the post back data. Means if it is have already some data, it will place those data into the controls, then load the method, uh, save the view state and all, and then handle the post back events, validation events and all other, and then render it again. So this is basically the uh, stage of a page. You should be very careful that this is not the life cycle of an application. It is basically the life cycle of a page only. So one ASP.NET page moves throughout all these states uh, before processing. So thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.